that it is a Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla, which is the highlight of our free game Friday this week. And I do realize I missed free game Friday last week. I didn't realize I missed free game Friday until Sunday. Then I realized, oh, I, I, Friday's gone. I was busy. I was getting ready for the, the charity stream for Squeaky B and, and get, try and set up the podcast, the guests for the podcast. And I just completely spaced off Friday. Not just free game Friday, I just completely spaced it off as an entire day, apparently. But anyway, Bionic Chainsaw Pogo Gorilla. Not only just a crazy name, it is a completely crazy game by Adult Swim Games, which you can play over on their website, and the link to the game will be in the description, of course. Let's go ahead and get into it. What is it? It is an action platformer that's very gory and completely crazy. Let's uh, check the story. Gorilla captured. Expert arms, legs cut off. Given a pogo stick and chainsaws and, and bionics. Which the scientist didn't realize that th those are dangerous. And he gets out. And now it's time to try to escape your imprisonment. Which is a very elaborate giant lab system. Alright, let's skip tutorial. We don't need that. And this is the big boss. You're never going to get out. Pretty much cliche evil guy stuff. Let's go ahead and skip that as well. And let's play a little bit of the game here. We got our melee attack, our jumping, and our... Oh yeah, our arms are on. We can also do the... Uh... Yes, anyway. We can also do the... The good old jumping on heads, Mario style. You know, it's not extremely effective. But yes, his arms are on bungee cords apparently, so you got your ranged attack here. Which actually is real wonky in a kind of wonderful way. Let's go ahead and slice and dice some security guards, some scientists. And you saw a costume unlock, I'll show you a little bit more about that here in a little bit. Let's uh, continue destroying everything though. I love the bungee chainsaw arms. But when you're jumping, they get a little wonky. You can kind of control them with up and down. Oh, uh, I didn't want to do that. There's a secret on the other side of this here. I got... Uh, there's power-ups! Which are very limited use, but I can barely not jump over there. While they're invincible, let's just get through these slimes real quick. You can see the timer there of how long our power-up will last. And I got a slime on my head. And I got another slime on my head. And I picked a power up. Death Spike, which makes your jumping on heads a lot more effective. Like, it'll just completely one shot that slime there. Alright. I know there. Oh, there are also power downs. I don't remember what this one is. Oh god, no, not this one. Uh, it, it's a rainbow dragon breathing rainbow razor fire. I, I don't even know. Let's see what this power down does. Oh yeah. That one is not quite fun. I'm not going to hit this until my my power down goes away. That that dragon power down is terrifying. Let's explode the ceiling here with a koala. I do believe... Nope, there's not anything hidden over here. Okay, just die. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the uh, the the chainsaw bungee arms get real weird sometimes. Once our platform comes back down, it will get a fair bit up here before I do this. This game has a lot of oop. Yay! Arms, arms, please, arms, please. Thank you. You can't actually melee attack until your arms come back. Uh, I want the power... Yeah, Death Spike. Put that power down. No, thank you. I think that one just is a mine. He just get, explodes you and sends you flying. Go away, please. I wasted most of my power-up time waiting for that thing to go away. But it's in a very precarious place. Whoop. I didn't kill you yet? How did I not kill you yet? Ah, we got a secret here. Oh, no, it was a power down. Not what I wanted. Oh yes, new costume part over here too. You can find those. You get costume parts are dropped by enemies. Now this one over here, 
We can't get to. That's the one I needed to not cut down that chandelier and make a hole in the floor to go grab it first. And I messed that up because I'm just bloodthirsty apparently. Ooh, what we got here? Oh jeez, I'm I'm all right with this. This hip, this power up is amazing. I can't fling it though. What we got here? Oh, now we got projectile power too. But you can't really even see because of the giant saws. I love this. Okay, I still got... Oh, Jesus. That's that's a terrible power down. All I can do is bounce on things' heads. Go away. Thank you. Oh, hey. Those are spikes. Spikes are bad. And there's a power down. Oh, do, no, don't hit it. You can actually grab uh, power ups and power downs with your bungee saw arms. Go away, you annoying power down. Thank you. Oh. Okay, get back on this. Arr, oh, no, wrong one. Melee, please. Thank you. Some food. Need some life here. Don't jump on that three times and you fall into the acid and dead. I learned that. I was like, hey, wait, why is this? What's this do? This is cool. Yeah. There's also leveling up, which I'm not sure exactly what it does. I don't know if it makes you any stronger, but it does. It fills up your HP to max when it happens, so it can be pretty useful sometimes. All right, level two. Now we have some other bionic experimental creatures to contend with, not just guards and humans. Mega damage. Oh, yeah, mega damage. That one's always, always useful. Oh, God, we got helicopter hedgehogs. Hellahogs? Yeah, hellahogs. We'll go with that. Nope, that's power down. I don't want that. Jeez, these hedgehogs are screwing my world up right now. Ooh. That's power up though. I thought I could get up there, but maybe not. And these projectile power just flings things as well. And it's over already. Those power ups. Oh, Jesus. Those power ups really don't last long. Wow, I'm dead already? Well, we can go ahead and check out the uh, continue screen. What do you think happens here if I don't press a button? Huh? What do you think happens? Poor gorilla. Okay, I'll press the button. That gorilla messed you up, buddy. Yeah, okay, let's yeah, let's show you the costume stuff after I clear out everything trying to kill me right now. Let's go ahead and press O, and you can get different costume pieces for head, arms, body, and your legs, your pogo stick. Uh, what all do I have for head? Night head. That's the only one I have unlocked right now. What do we have for arms? Nothing unlocked for arms yet. We have a suit. Arcade machine. Donut. Let's go with suit. What do we have for legs? So we have a knife leg. We have a hamster legs. Clown legs. Let's go with knife legs. Yeah, there we go. Those don't have any effect on gameplay. It's just all cosmetic, but it's a lot of the drive of playing this game is to unlock the different oh, cosmetic things. Like, see, I'm stabbing him with the knife, and it's no more effective than just the pogo stick. Which, the pogo stick without the death spike can only hurt some enemies. Other enemies will just stun. There we go. Let's try... Damn it. Sometimes it's hard to line up your jumps since you're always bouncing. So many hedgehogs. Oh, come on. I know I can probably make this... J screw it. I'm done. What do we get here? Mega damage. I want the giant saws again. Those were wonderful. Ooh, I just got weed whacker arms. I think arms, yeah, that's what would make sense. 
I think I should go put those on. It seems like a downgrade from chainsaws, but uh, now we have uh, duck dials that poop grenades. I think those are duck crocodiles. I don't know. We have a present up here, though, which might be another costume piece. Yes, eyeball head. Okay, let's go down. There are boss fights in this game. I've fought the first boss previously, and it's a uh, giant cybernetic platypus. And it's kind of wonderful. Give me that food. Okay, stupid bats. Get off my face, bat. I need your food, please. Thank you. Arms. Crazy arms. Crazy bungee chainsaw arms. Yeah, eat the mega damage, you stupid bats. I'll, I'll just, there's a puppy over there. Why is there a puppy over there? I somehow suspect it will probably try to murder me in a horrible way. But I'm going to try to figure out how to get to it. I've done this level before, but I, there's a lot of hidden things, secrets, and paths. Okay. We got the ducket dials here. Jeez, there's so much in this area. Yeah, that'll help. Okay, let's go find- No! No! I missed the puppy jump! I need to get- I need to find a way back up there. I got it- now I gotta know what the puppy's for. Ah, crap. Unicorn head! Awesome. Who doesn't want that? I, I'm pretty sure, knowing Adult Swim games, that this is, has to have a horse head as one of the options. There, it has to exist. Okay, let's get back over here. I want to know what the puppy does before I end this video. Stupid. Let's get the invincibility. Was this? I don't know where the puppy was exactly now. Okay, it's down there. Why was there enemies here still? I thought I killed everything. Apparently not. All right. Aha! Oh. Oh God. Let's not kill them. Oh God! Oh, I'm a horrible person. I am horrible, horrible human being. No puppies. Oh well. Burger head. Hmm. That's what the puppies were about. You are twisted people, Adult Swim Games, and I love it. Alright, well this has been Bionic Pogo Chainsaw Gorilla, or if I said that in the right order, I'm not entirely sure. You should check it out. It is completely batshit crazy. If I stole, did the Weird Game Wednesday series, which uh, you probably won't know what that is unless you've been following my channel since the early days, I would have definitely put this game in that category. It's kind of batshit crazy and kind of wonderful. I'm Fedora Gamer. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. The link will be in the description, of course, and I'll see you guys next time.